Well, hello, Internet. I'm just testing out my streaming software right now, and I'm seeing if I can stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. One downside is, hi, Stan and Robert and Happy MZ. One downside is that I cannot see the chat. I can see the chat for YouTube, but I can't display the chat for YouTube, which is a little weird. Um, don't know how to fix that. Hmm. Anybody out there know how to do it? <laughs> um, the reason I'm doing this is I am. I wanted to do a live stream, live coding uh, video tomorrow at 12 Eastern Standard Time. And I, would, I wanted to do a TensorFlow video tutorial and do everything 100% live on both streaming services at the same time. So I'm going to really test my computer because I'm going to be doing machine learning. And you can open another tab and read the, yeah, well, yeah, I can, thank you, Stan, that I, I did that. That's why I knew you were on here um, on YouTube, because I can see that. But you can only chat and have it display on the screen if the person's on Twitch, I see. Interesting. Uh, I'll have to do a little bit more research. But either way, since this at least is working, I, what I will have YouTube notifications, but Twitch are off. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, this is just, you know, just a goof around thing here. Hello. Thanks for all the things. Hey, thank you, Max, for stopping by. See, I can read the YouTube chat. I just can't get it to display. <laughs> Paolo's watching both streams at the same time. Okay. Um, WebGL. Uh, we'll see. Machine learning is coming tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do. Hi, Dan. Uh, tomorrow I am going to do TensorFlow videos. And it's going to be a long video. It's going to be probably about two hours. And the goal of it is to show how to create models, how to compile models, fit models. Um, it's going to talk a lot about tensors, manipulating data, how NumPy and Pandas and Matplotlib and Seaborn and Plotly all work together and all in one video. So, and I'm, I'm, it's probably gonna be like two hours long and you'll be able to ask me a bunch of questions. Yes, chat, I'll play, um, uh, after this is over, I'm just testing my stream. After this is over, Stan, I'm gonna jump back over onto Twitch only because I know the YouTube people don't like watching my chess streams. So I'm going to stream chess on Twitch but not on YouTube. But tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to chat on or I'm going to do TensorFlow videos for like 2 hours live coding. And then if you guys have any questions, you can just ask me the questions. And if you want your name to show up like Stan's name is the only name showing up, um, you could bounce over to Twitch and then you can ask me. But either way, I'll be able to see all of your all of your questions on YouTube as well as on Twitch and we'll be able to do we can merge both worlds because I I really want to do that and then also the other question I have for you guys you should put the logo of YouTube and Twitch on your scene to let people know well thank you Stan Stan is always here to help um, it's funny because I'm looking over here for chat and over here for chat so I wish I could merge those I guess I could I could move this over here is there any Python HTTP library that supports multiple concurrent streams um, I'm use what I'm using to do both streams at exactly the same time is Streamlabs. And that's what I'm using. Hey, Kanan, thanks for stopping by. You and Stan are always here. Uh, hey, Zlislig76. I see you all the time, too. Thank you for stopping by. All right, so cool. Uh, so that's what's going to happen tomorrow, noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to stream on Twitch and YouTube live coding TensorFlow videos. And uh, I'm going to delete this video as soon as I am done here. Actually, on YouTube, there is a delay compared to Twitch. Huh. Well, that's weird. I go. Awesome. Yes. But I've covered a lot of the data science. See, what you're going to see whenever you actually start, because I'm going to do TensorFlow, and a lot of people have been asking about PyTorch. I'm also going to do PyTorch after TensorFlow. I decided to do TensorFlow first because I think it's a little bit easier to grasp whenever you are first learning about machine learning. But if you've been following all my data science videos, you are gonna find it extremely easy to learn machine learning because 
I've covered all of the time series. I've covered regressions. I've already taught NumPy Pandas, Plotly, Seaborn, Matplotlib, all those different libraries, and you're going to be using very similar information. Really, the thing that's going to change kind of uh, dramatically that you haven't learned if you've been watching all my videos, which I'm sure very few people are, um, the major difference is creating models and then taking your data and trying to optimize your, your data and your creation of models and tweaking, waiting on different things. And the TensorFlow video is going to probably be about two hours long, but uh, it's going to be a multi-part. And I'm thinking probably there's going to be about six TensorFlow videos altogether for me to cover absolutely everything. And again, that starts tomorrow. Uh, wait, why would you want to delete this video? Oh yeah, this is just a, this is just a test video, just to test that I can stream. And before tomorrow, I'm going to see if there's going to be a way for me to merge my YouTube and Twitch comments on the screen at the same time. But I think that's not possible. Um, and if I, the one way that I think it would work would be very distracting because I think I would actually have to have two chats on at the same time. But I don't think it matters because if you ask me a question on YouTube, I'll be able to see it. And um, and if um, you know it's on Twitch, it'll just pop right up on the screen. And if people really want their question to pop up on the screen, they can just bounce over to Twitch and 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 go and pop you know ask the question on Twitch. Sorry, I'm working with the technology I got. Which machine do you use to teach math? Um, all I have is a PC. I used to have a, a Macintosh, and it died, and I'm not buying another one. So um, everything – and my, my main data science video – or my main data science machine has always been a Windows PC. That's always what I've used. I've never used that on, on Mac. But I'm going to be teaching TensorFlow using Google Colab. So it doesn't matter what type of computer you have. You could have the world's, well, not the world's worst, but you could have a very bad computer and you'll still be able to follow my TensorFlow videos because we're going to use Google Colab. We're going to be borrowing Google's computers to run everything. And for the most part, unless you have a hardcore like gaming PC, chances are Google Colab is going to be faster than any other computer you could possibly have. And it's Google Colab is also 100% free. So, you know, that's awesome. Um, there should be a way for, yeah, I, I tried, I tried using OBS to also get the chats to show up and they just don't. And, uh, in my tests. So I don't know. I'll do some research. I haven't watched all your videos, but I've watched a good chunk of them. Well, thank you, Chuck. I greatly appreciate that. All right. So thank you to everybody that shot, stopped by. I am going to go over to Twitch now and play some chess <laughs> and uh, tomorrow TensorFlow videos and uh, and that's it and unless you guys have questions you can feel free to ask me absolutely anything 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 nope all right well I'm gonna bounce over to Twitch and then tomorrow I'll be back on YouTube and Twitch for TensorFlow videos what's the best programming language there's no such thing as the best programming language um, in my opinion, I, I can only tell you what I use. And a lot of the reason why I use certain languages a lot is because of my profession. So if I do, I mainly like, I work on like online stores and data science. And so, and also security is very important for online stores. And I have found that Django works best security wise. Um, for doing uh, online stores and so I use Django which is you know Python a Python web framework and of course I use JavaScript for the front end and I've used everything um, uh, I mean I've used you know every, every language you guys know that I've made videos on everything imaginable so is there any so Python's my favorite language in general the one thing that sucks about Python is there's no legitimate mobile framework for Python uh, so I use C sharp for that and, uh, Zamarian and uh, so that I can do cross platform mobile apps. And so that's why I use that. Will you be doing a GG animate in our video? I don't know what that means. So I guess not. 
What time tomorrow? Noon Eastern Standard Time, which I believe is 4 p.m. UTC, but don't quote me on that because I'm not real good with that. Which machine do I use? Oh, uh, when I do the math videos, what I do is I, I use software called Air Server to mirror my screen on my iPad, and then I write on the iPad, and that's what I use. So, and I have a pencil that I write on it. So that's what I use. I use Air Server, and I don't know if Air Server is free or not. I made it. I might have paid for it. I can't remember, but it's it's good software. What time? So, all right, cool. So there you go. That is everything. Do you have tremors from three hours? I don't have tremors. Yes. <laughs> um, sometimes I, I have long COVID, and I have to take all kinds of vitamins and all kinds of things to manage that. And sometimes if I don't get my vitamins right, I will get sort of shaky. But see, I'm not shaking right now. <laughs> I don't have tremors. So that's uh, that's just a weird byproduct of taking all kinds of weird vitamins. So hopefully none of you ever have to do that. All right. Anything else? I guess that's it. All right. So uh, tomorrow, if you want to see the TensorFlow videos and you want to interact and ask questions, while I do them, be here at noon Eastern Standard Time. And otherwise, I'm going to bounce over to uh, Twitch right now and play some chess. So talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.